Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part two of the new Juvia's Place collection, which is the coffee shop collection. I already have a video up for the eyeshadow palette, which I will have it link it up above. And now I'm going to show you the swatches for all the lippies. There are 13 lip glosses and I'm going to swatch them on my lips for you. And then there are three lip liners. I do wish there were more lip liners and there was a variety of shades in the different lip liners because there's a whole lot of variety in the shades for the lip glosses. All three lip liners are very dark whereas half of the collection is lighter shades. While I was swatching these lip glosses, I also felt like the formula was different. The formula felt a little bit lighter and smoother compared to the previous formula which is thicker and goopier and a little bit stickier. I'm not saying one is better than the other but I don't know if it's just me but I feel like the formula is different. The container for these lip glosses is different too. They are longer compared to their Nubian Earth collection which were shorter and fatter. And even the applicator is different. This one, you can see, is an applicator like this. The Nubian Earth Collection applicator was different, which I absolutely loved. This is the Nubian Earth Collection applicators. And then their regular lip glosses are somewhere in between the Nubian Earth Collection packaging and the coffee shop packaging. Their regular lip gloss is skinnier and shorter. I'm not sure why Juvia's Place keeps changing their packaging and the applicators. Maybe they're trying to see what their customers prefer. I love this packaging personally. I love the fat applicator and I love how this is short and fat because then it's easier to stack up. This is interesting. This formula seems to be smoother and lighter but i don't remember them mentioning anything about changing their formula so i don't know what's going on but let's get started i want to show you all 13 shades and three shades for the lip liners as well first i'm applying one of the lip liners this is the shade coffee bean it is a really nice dark chocolatey brown it is actually the lightest shade out of all three going in with the first lip gloss this is the shade mochaccino it is a beautiful neutral pinky shade i would say this is a good everyday shade up next is the shade cookie butter this shade is also pretty neutral, but it is lighter and uh, it does have a little bit of pink in it, but it is very neutral. It's a barely there pink. I would even call it more of a nude. Ooh, up next is Salted Caramel, and this is your very basic caramel brown color. Then we have Honey. This one is one of the brighter shades from this collection. I would consider this color a light, bright, rusty orange. Then we have Macchiato. This is kind of a neutral brown. I can't say that it's warm and it's not super cool either. Here are the five that I just put on side by side so you can see the difference between them. The first one is mochaccino, then we have cookie butter, then we have salted caramel, honey, and then macchiato. All right, moving forward, up next is butterscotch. I would say this is a light, neutral, pink shade. Then we have coffee break which is an interesting color. It is one of the lightest and brightest shades from this collection. I would say maybe like a bright peach color. And then we have the shade Cream de Cacao. 
Now we're getting even lighter and brighter. And I'm wearing a little lip liner Coco Latte here. Next one is Dolce Latte. This feels really sheer compared to all of the other lip glosses. Here you can see them side by side. Butterscotch is definitely leaning toward pink. And then Coffee Break is corally orange color. And then we have an even brighter shade, which is the Cream de Cacao. And then the last one is Pretty Sheer, which is your Dolce Latte. All right, now we have the last three. And now I'm applying the lip liner Espresso. Starting off with the shade Chocolate Drip. I love this shade. I do like darker lippies, so I really appreciate this color. Now we're going in with Kenyan Coffee. This is more of like a mid-tone color. It has a little bit of pinkish purplish color in there. All right, so the last one is brown sugar. This is your very basic cool tone brown, and it is a light shade. It actually looks very similar to one of the lip glosses from the Nubian Earth collection. It is the shade Nubian Nude. Okay, so here are the last three swatched side by side. The first one, the chocolate drip, is a darker brown and then we have Kenyan coffee which is like a mid-tone color and it has a little bit of pinkish purplish color in there and then the last one is pretty cool tone brown here i'm swatching uh, one of the glosses from the nubian earth collection and you can see they are very close all right overall my thoughts on this collection i think it has some beautiful shades i do wish there were a little bit more darker shades in there a lot of the shades in this collection are either light or medium there aren't a lot of darker shades this is probably the darkest shade in this collection and so i wore it with the dark lip liners and it's interesting how the lip liners are so dark but the shades in this collection are much lighter other than that, I think they're all beautiful shades. This was an interesting, comfortable, smooth formula. Lip liners are really nice. They are creamy, apply easily, but they don't seem to be runny, which is good. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And I will link these lip glosses down below in the description. They might be affiliate links, and if you can use them, that would really help support my channel. Thank you. Bye.